roads are a lovely way to see the city. And the St. Charles streetcar is the oldest continuously operating streetcar in the entire world. But riding them can be a bit confusing, so here's what you need to know. When you enter, you'll need to pay. It costs $1.25 per person each time, or $3 for an unlimited pass good for 24 hours. Exact change isn't required, but I usually recommend it because they won't give you change back. They'll give you a little card that has credits on it good for riding the streetcar or the buses at some point in the future. When you're about to reach your stop, pull the cord above the windows to alert the driver you're ready to get off. If you can, use the back door to exit. When the green light above the door turns on, push on the door really hard. Make sure the door doesn't slam shut behind you, and if you exit onto the neutral ground, which is what we call the medians here in New Orleans, be sure the coast is clear before you step into the street. The streetcars are scheduled to arrive every eight minutes, but they don't. They arrive kinda whenever they arrive. And during busy seasons like spring and the fall, it's very common for multiple full cars to pass you by before someone will stop and let you on. When people ask me if the streetcar is worth it, my advice is always, it's a lovely ride if you have nowhere to be. If you're trying to get somewhere at a specific time, a rideshare app like Uber or Lyft is usually the best bet. Ride safe and have fun!